So I am about to do my February TBR. Uh, before we start that, if you miss the live interview with Robert Jackson Bennett, which has me, Brock from Let's Read, Nicole from Nicole's Adventures in SFF, and Thomas from SFF 180, all asking Robert Jackson Bennett questions, <laughs> I'm linking that video down below. You should go watch it and then you should subscribe to all of them because they're all fantastic people with just like, just mind blowing thoughts. Um, <laughs> and now let's get to the actual February TBR. So this is something I will hopefully be finishing this weekend. So it won't actually officially be a February TBR, but if it, I figure if you read it on the 31st of January, it counts, right? That is Alias by Brian Michael Bendis. This is the omnibus of Alias, which is the, um, the comic upon which Jessica Jones, the kind of hit Netflix show, is based upon. Um, I am really, really looking forward to it. I'm about 60 pages in so far, which is not very much considering this is like 600 pages, um, but I'm liking it and I'm hoping to continue liking it. I have A Natural History of Dragons. This is the first memoir by Lady Trent. Uh, it is by Marie Brennan, and I have actually, I have meant to be reading this one before, and I just didn't actually commit. I read like the first two pages and was like, I really like this, and then got distracted. Um, so hopefully that will happen this upcoming month. Then I have The Melancholy of Mecha Girl by Kat Valente. I've been reading a lot of her stuff actually lately and really liking it. This is a, a short story collection of hers, but I just read Radiance and before that Six Gun Snow White. Really like both of them. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this actually quite a bit. I have The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin. I really loved her the fifth season. I'm super excited for Obelisk Gate, and so to get my fix of her stuff, I am reading this one next. <laughs> I have Zane Holloway, Assassin for Hire by P.T. Hilton. Um, P.T. is fantastic. He is a booktuber and a self-published author. I will link him down below, um, and this is one of his main books. It's about a um, an assassin who... <laughs> Um, I guess it's it's supposed to be kind of a science fiction fantasy story for people who are not necessarily fantasy readers. Um, it has a fantastic uh, map right there, and of course PT is fantastic and like super funny and all that good stuff. So you should check this out, but at the very least check out his YouTube channel because he does some amazing YouTube content. Uh, I have Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this one, but I picked it up pretty cheap. Um, and it is the story of, I think, a director's daughter. It looks like it's in, told in kind of a strange format, like some of the pages are screenshots, some of them are IM. Um, so this will be interesting. I'm hoping that it's as promising as it sounds, though, like I said, I've heard some mixed reviews. I have Lament for the Afterlife by Lisa Hammett. Um, I actually don't know a whole ton about this, but I picked it up on the recommendation of one of the people who works in my local bookstore, and so we'll see. I have Joe Haldeman's The Forever War. I'm actually listening to this on audiobook right now. Um, the audiobook is through my library, and it's just kind of more convenient for me. Um, but it is, of course, a sci-fi classic. Sci-Fi Masterworks by Glance. <laughs> um, and I am enjoying what I've read of it, read of it, listened to of it uh, so far. I'm about seven chapters in, which is not quite a third of the way. <laughs> and then I have A Brief History of Seven Killings. This was on my last month's TBR. I've only just started it, so shame on me. Uh, but this is about Bob Marley and some of the, uh, I guess, assassination attempts against him. Uh, it won the man Booker and has been widely acclaimed, uh, so I have been meaning to read it. I have only just started and hopefully will finish it quite soon. 
my edition is about 700 pages so there's that um you want to come say goodbye no you just want to play with all of the toys that will make noise all right fair enough kitty's not going to say goodbye to you but i will <laughs> i hope you're having a fantastic reading week i will talk to you later bye